Welcome back to another video. We're going on a, an exploration of a dangerous pit that's full of vipers and spiders and werewolves and vampires. There's just who knows what's inside this place. So I'm equipped. I've got my laser light here. I've got my killing gloves and I've got my, my GoPro to film it all. The hole of hell. Wish me luck. our cistern that I'm cleaning out. Unfortunately, when we installed this cistern, there was a lot of debris that fell into the manhole on top that I climbed down into. This is a 2,500 gallon cistern and we plan on filling it by catching our rainwater. Now, Quino Nuevo, where we're building our house here in Mexico, only averages about 6.35 inches of rain annually. So it's not going to be enough rain to really sustain us uh, as far as capturing water, I don't believe. And so we will have to haul some water in, which is not a problem. Right down the road, there is a, a large well, and it's, it's very close to us and nearby. And there is a truck that comes through Rio Azul, a couple times a week and uh, we can just top off this tank anytime we need. We're going for a little walk, a little stroll in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, but we don't have neighbors. No, it's true, we don't, do we, babe? <laughs> Not yet. No, we, we, we like it that way, but I'm pretty sure that this place is going to continue to grow. A lot of the area's got a lot of neighbors. We just happen to, we have some neighbors. They're just not right next to us. They're spread out the way we like it. We're going for a little, a little, a little hike. Not really a hike, just a walk because. We don't have too much time right now because tomorrow we go we back to Tucson. Yeah, tomorrow we're leaving to Tucson. So we thought we'd get out for our last little stroll, a little stroll in the desert. She's all bundled up, not because it's cold, because she's afraid of the sun. She's a vampire. <laughs> no, I Yeah, I found her in one of these caves back there. I could not open my eyes because it's that sun. Ooh. You notice the way these cactus are, they're not the swirl cactus like in the Sonoran Desert in Tucson, Arizona, where I'm from. The, the, the swirl cactuses, they have like ribs all through their, their structure. They've got little tiny like ribs is what we call them. But when, when they die, they have the ribs when these cactus die, but when they die, it's more like a, a the wood of like a tree. It's just, it's a, it's one solid piece of wood for most part, kind of like a tree trunk that's inside of each one of these cactuses. So it's, it's a little bit different. As you can see behind me, I stroll the panels out along this wall right here and it's, it's been working pretty good for us. We get about 800 watts, thereabouts. Um, we don't really position or move the panels 
we just leave them the way they are and that's about the average that we get through the day and we don't use very much power during the winter inside okay so we have two things that run 24 by 7 when we're here off grid that is the the refrigerator and then we have the Starlink that the router for the Starlink that runs continuously as well. When I return, which is one month, it'll be an excruciating wait for me, waiting one month to come back to my house here in Mexico. But in one month, I will return and all of this will have yeso, which is this white stuff here, this white line base. All the walls here will have yeso on it. There'll be a window right here. So this whole bathroom is going to get yeso on this side. It'll have the yeso, the white texture. We'll have uh, all this completed. All the electric through the upper level will be completed as well. There, there's already wire pulled in this area, but downstairs, all the wiring will be pulled downstairs. The main electric will be installed in the panel and the panel's getting moved over. We'll show you that. But all this will get completed. So all the electric, all these little things will get fixed. All this plumbing, all the wires will get pulled in through here. We'll have switches completed. So this will all have Yeso completed on it too when I return in one month. I apologize for the lighting. It's not very good in here. This is where the toilet's going to be. So as you can see, this is a, it's probably about six, seven inches high, but that's uh, the way we had to design the, the toilet so it'll properly flush. So it'll it's at an incline of a down motion. I'm not really happy with the fact that the toilet has to be a foot higher than the rest of the level upstairs. But I'll tell you one thing, it's a lot better than this toilet, which is what I had before. Look at this thing. That's my toilet. I feel like I was being potty trained all over again and uh, I didn't like it. This is a better toilet. out of us working on our projects there in Tucson, the other mobile home that we're fixing up to sell to buy a, a mansion. So we're selling a mobile home to buy a mansion. We already sold a mobile home to build this mansion. That's the mansion we're building in Mexico. But you got to stay tuned for the mansion we build in the White Mountains. but we got to get some money first and the easiest way I know how to get money is buy something for nothing really really cheap fix it up and sell it for a lot of money and that's that's the plan we've already done that once 
We paid uh, $35,000 for a mobile home and fixed it up and we sold it for uh, $258,000. What a what a blessing that was. Did a lot of work. A lot of work. It took us took us a couple of years working on that place to get it just absolutely ready to sell. Took a lot of work. And this one is gonna take a lot of work too. We've been working there for what, about six months at least. Probably more than that. I'd say at least six months. You know, not on a regular a daily basis, but a regular basis, like once a week maybe. Um Usually one or two days a week we're working on it. But thank you for watching our videos and we'll see you on the next one. Oh my God, this is a lot of work.